we could cry the whole night. And wishing that our father was still alive. It's very sad. It wasn't simple for us. Especially when our father died and then our mother left. It wasn't simple for us. It was very hard. Standing the whole night. It wasn't simple. By the time Dorcas Peary had turned 16, her father had died and her mother had disappeared. She was forced to quit school to raise her two younger sisters and young brother. Dorcas had been living alone with her siblings, her two sisters and her brother, in a makeshift tent for over a period of three years when we found them. They had no bedding, they were sleeping on the floor. On most nights, men in the neighborhood would come and rip the tent and make their way into the tent. They were living in a very poor and unhealthy condition. And most times and most nights when it rained, they would have to stand up and wither the, the rain. So the housing situation that they lived in was unspeakable. You couldn't imagine. As part of Habitat for Humanity Zambia's Orphans and Vulnerable Children program, Dorcas and her siblings were selected to receive a fully subsidized Habitat home. Habitat was able to connect Dorcas with partners, allowing her to go back to school where she has become a teacher's assistant. Uh, the day we moved in this house, we couldn't believe it. We were very happy, very happy. We couldn't believe that we have our own house now to live in, a very safe and nice house. We were very happy. What Habitat for Humanity Zambia did was change Dorcas's life and given her hope. When you see Dorcas now, she's a happy, bubbly, smiling, laughing child. She's hopeful that there is a brighter future out there for her and her siblings. She's got something to smile about every day, regardless of her past. Yeah, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> and I thank God because the one who's giving me strength, hope. We are happy now. <laughs> we are happy. 